Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Scuba Pro Nova 850. So this comes in four different variations. Uh, so it comes in both a spot and a wide angle, and that's just a slightly different head. And then it comes in a kind of full body torch, which takes three C cell batteries or a rechargeable version, which is much smaller, um, but you get a single 18650 rechargeable battery with it, uh, and then you can recharge that as much as you like. The only real difference other than the size and the weight is the runtime. So the, uh, the, the standard 850 that has the big old C cell batteries runs for much, much longer. Uh, the little rechargeable one doesn't last nearly as long as far as burn time, but of course you can recharge those batteries. So, as you can see, they come in nifty little cases. Um, this is sort of becoming more and more popular with um, sort of underwater technology. Comes in a neat little case, um, that kind of semi-rigid case uh, with a zipper, and you've just got some basic uh, sort of branding on the front, uh, and then it's just blank on the underside. So we're gonna take a look at the, uh, the big version first. So unzip that. Inside, we have the big old torch itself. I'll take a closer look at that in a second. Uh, but also on the inside, we get a little lanyard uh, that you can attach to the, uh, the back side of it. Um, and then, book of words, you'll have a little um, sort of quick instruction manual on how to use it. So this has a, a locking mechanism. Press that button five times to unlock it. Press it five times in quick succession to unlock it. So that means that you can leave it with the batteries in, put it in your suitcase, and it's less likely to, uh, to switch itself on. Um, and then all the different power settings and basically how to use it. Um, and then book of words, the usual um, sort of T's and C's and warranty information on that bit of paper. Okay, so yeah, so this is the large sort of full body version. Uh, so anodized aluminium with a uh, sort of matte black finish. Um, a little flash of blue, which is very smart. Uh, the only real difference to the, uh, the previous version, the 720, you've got a bit of a peak on the front here. That's flexible, uh, so you don't have to worry about bumping that in. Smart little feature because um, I use a 720 myself. When you switch it on, even if you're sort of pointing it in front of you, you can still see a bit of glare sort of coming out of that. So that's going to, uh, to help. Um, but it still allows all that light to uh, sort of go wherever you want it. Um, the other main difference is that this is a push button instead of a twist head. Uh, you do still twist the head to get to the battery compartments, but to actually activate the torch, you have a push button, and around that it has a little battery level indicator, which is quite smart. Now, I don't have batteries for this one, unfortunately. Uh, I do for the smaller rechargeable, um, but the actual output itself is gonna be exactly the same. 850 lumens of bright white light, either focused into a tight sort of spotlight beam or a wide angle beam, depending on your preference. So, empty, it's pretty light torch. Uh, anodized aluminium, it's corrosion resistant, it's lightweight, but it's still nice and tough. Um, you've got this uh, sort of crenellation, uh, a sort of nut, uh, sort of shape down at the hinge, uh, at the hind, sorry, which means that it's not going to roll around. Um, you can't stand it uh, upright, unfortunately, because of that peak. Not a major uh, sort of problem in my books, but it might sway your decision. You have a overpressure valve, I believe, at the bottom. So if any water does make its way inside of the torch, um, it's going to allow any expanding gas to expand so it's not locked in. You can still undo it and hopefully rescue the torch. Uh, and then a big, chunky uh, sort of lanyard loop so you can attach a lanyard onto that. So, looking at the smaller R version, the rechargeable version, so uh, we decided to stock it with the battery and the charger because it didn't make much sense stocking it um, just as an empty torch. Inside, very much the same, except you do get a USB charging cable um, that attaches to the cradle uh, that's further in the box. Uh, so the same as um, sort of your smartphone and your tablet and whatnot, just connect it to the same USB charger and you'll be fine. You still get the lanyards and all the paperwork that you do with the previous torch. So the rechargeable one is a little bit smaller. <clears throat> it takes a much smaller battery, the 18650, which I've already put inside of it. Uh, if we get further into the box, take this foam padding out you get the recharging sort of cradle. Uh, so pop the battery uh, inside of that, plug that into a USB cable, and, um, and then that'll recharge the battery ready for your next dive. 
Okay, so the torch itself, um, again, same materials, anodized aluminium. It's nice and light, much more compact than its, uh, than its bigger brother, but it still has the same power output and the same sort of functioning. So right now it's in lock mode. So if you press that button, nothing's gonna happen. But if you press it five times, you see the little blue light is gonna switch on. So that means that it's unlocked. Press it or sorry, hold it down, and that switches it on. So this is the W version, so this is the wide angle. Uh, so you can see we have a wide um, sort of beam on that. Um, the peak itself does kind of cut a bit out, uh, but I imagine if you want to, you can remove that and get the full sort of wide angle. Uh, nice even beam, no sort of hard edges or hot spots that are that obvious. Uh, so this is quite good for illuminating an entire um, sort of reef not sort of pinpointing on anything blinding a certain fish, you're just kind of illuminating it uh, nice and evenly. Um, if I switch it off and then switch it back on, so switch it on, press the button again and it dials it down so it's not quite as bright, it's not that full 850 lumens, and then pressing it again will switch it off. Uh, press that button five times, and that little blue light will switch off, so that means it's in lock mode. So yeah, a good smart little torch. Uh, I definitely like it. Um, this time they've gone with a sort of black with a flash of electric blue, um, sort of coloration running through it, which is quite smart. Uh, nice and tough. Uh, depending on your preference, whether you prefer a rechargeable battery or the sort of longer burn time off some C cells, it's completely up to you. Uh, the R, of course, is a lot smaller, so a bit easier to pack and it fits down into a pocket a lot easier. Um, but all in all, a very smart little torch. These are the Scuba Pro Nova 850 torches. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.